welcome to the succulent home and we are going to pot together we're going to be revamping a pot or an arrangement that we have if you want to do a new one with me go ahead if you have brand new succulents around go ahead and do that but i'm going to do redo this one i was looking at it it looked really sad my brother gave this to me and i want to make sure that i can bring back its beauty so right here this one right here is what I believe to be a mini chola, okay? I have the big chola, which is the nickname for it, in my front succulent garden. But this one's the mini one. And this, yes, you're right, it's a jade. The other succulents that were around pretty much died. I have this flapjack. I'm gonna add it to here. And if for some reason I see that it needs more, I'll go get something around this succulent workshop of mine and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to it. So go ahead, I'll give you some time. Go get your pot. Go get your succulent arrangement that you need to revamp or repurpose or redo, however you wanna say it. Go get it and let's do it together. And hey, if you don't wanna do anything and you just wanna look at the video and get inspired so you can go do something later, do that too, because that's what I do. Well, go ahead. I pretty much got everything that I need right here by my side. So let's get started. I'm sorry about the wind. It's very windy here, very windy in Northern California. So I'm gonna try to talk loud, like speak up louder, just so if between the traffic and the wind blowing pretty hard. I want you to be able to hear me. Ah, pretty much came right up. This pot right here doesn't have drainage. And this pot was pre-made. Again, this was a gift from my brother. He bought it from like a local store. So these have rocks in here. Oh, you know what? There is. There is drainage holes. They must have just cut them. But you can see they added some rocks at the bottom. It kind of helps the drainage. I'm gonna go and spray in here. I don't see any bugs, but I'm just gonna spray anyways. You already know me. That's what I do because I've been jaded by Millie bugs. Don't forget to shake your solution. And a lot of you guys ask me what I use. So let me go ahead and grab that so you guys can see. This is my choice. It's the Be Safe 3-in-1 Garden Spray from Organicide. You can go ahead and get this from Lowe's because that's where I got it. Can you see that? Yeah. So again, just shake it up. I use that is from Kellogg. Get it at Lowe's. That's where I always get mine. So I don't know where, I don't know if they sell it anywhere else, but I never look for it anywhere else either. So there, there could be. Okay, let me do a little quirk, uh, quick squirt of this. So I've been so excited. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. You are welcome here. Your voice matters here. I appreciate you here. And at the end of the day, we're just people 
wanting to inspire other people. So I just thank you. I appreciate you subscribing. All of my um, followers that have been following me for a while now, it's a big thank you to you too. Man, you guys hit the like button and you leave comments and I'm telling you, it brings a smile to my face and it just makes, it just fills my heart with joy. And that's why I continue to do what I do here. And thank you for that because it's an outlet for me. This is like a passion, a hobby that I get to share with you guys. So this has roots, you see that? Really nice roots, by the way. So I'm just gonna leave this to the side right here. Take all the dead stuff from right here. Oh yeah, the wind's picking up, guys. The wind is picking up. You see all of the root systems here. Really nice roots. So we together, we have reached, let me see, a little over 6,000 subscribers, guys. We did that. Not just me. We did that. Not, not me alone at all. I am just so jazzed and so excited. And it's inspired me to continue to add content to my Instagram and now my Facebook page. So if you don't have an Instagram or you have both Facebook and Instagram, go follow me um, on The Succulent Home. Um, Melissa De Jesus on Facebook, Melissa De Jesus, The Succulent Home. But you can just use my name to look me up and you'll be there. I, I actually created a group. So if you don't, it, it's a place where you can post your own pictures of your own succulent arrangements and we can swap um, ideas and just, you know, photos and stuff. So I know not everybody does Instagram and I know I've been like just, uh, you know, encouraging you guys to follow Instagram. But then I thought, you know, if you're anything like some of the people in my circle, you don't have an Instagram. You just have a Facebook. So the content that I put on Facebook will be different content that I put on Instagram. So it's all gonna be, you know, about succulents and cacti and I do love home decor and a glimpse into my personal life. Personal life meaning what I do on a daily basis. Really isn't too extravagant, but I do do stuff. <laughs> I'm just trying to break up this. This is like a really solid piece of rock. Dirt right here and I am just trying to I mean I could cut it but I, I kind of don't want to I like the roots on here so let me just kind of like try to break up just the dirt that's surrounding the root system So like I said, I got this flapjack and it looks kind of beat up, but I got this flapjack from, yes, San Diego, California. And I told you in previous videos, but for you guys who are new, you newbies to me, um, I love to travel to new places or new cities, new states, but instead of like buying a, um, you know, a collection of magnets or ornaments or anything like that i you know i like collecting succulents or cacti from that place it just to me it's a way of building up my collection and i just think it's kind of cool and it's different so my husband when he goes on business trips he brings me back a succulent or a cacti which i'm always looking forward to okay so see these are all good roots that's why i didn't want to do a like a fresh cut which i could have but I'm glad I didn't. So this is the front with this. Let me just clear, let me clear all of that out. Okay.
Clearing this all out so that we it just looks well you guys already know I'm kind of a messy potter. That's just should just be called the succulent home. With lots of no, what should it be? The messy succulent potter. <laughs> Nah, I like the succulent home. But I am messy though. Okay. What? Okay. Let's go ahead. Hold on. Okay. So this is the front. So I'm going to go ahead and just probably put this should I put it in the back or on the side or in the middle Okay, so if this is the front, let me just turn it like this. I almost feel like I want it to go lower. Okay, wait. That's pretty. Okay, let, let's do something here. Let me take out some of this soil. This is what happens. What happens is when you are a designer of arrangements and you are trying to develop your eye for design, sometimes you will end up, you know, rearranging a lot of what you thought was going to take, what you thought you were going to do or what you wanted to do, and then you totally end up changing your mind. It's just, that's what happens. That is exactly what happens. So I want this flapjack to sit low. Because I want it to sit low, that is why I emptied all of my soil out. So I could be able to get it as low as I could without trying to cut the, the like, the stalk of the succulent itself of the flapjack. Flapjacks are beautiful when they're stressed they turn that red. It's just gorgeous. Okay so pretty much there we go. That's where I want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this chola, this mini chola, to right here so it can stick up in the back. Okay. Because I don't want to change this whole arrangement entirely because I want it to look like the one that my brother bought me. I don't want it, I want it to, ha to have the original succulent some, you know, the original succulents that survived. So, this one survived, and so we'll put it back in there. What's the weather like where you guys are? And if you're watching, can you leave a comment and tell me what city or state you live in? Only because I, I love to know like where you guys are from, because, um, especially in quarantine, you can't even get out very much. So it's almost like living vicariously through you guys who live in different places, different time zones, or whatever, you know? Okay. 
what about this? Okay, so I'm gonna do, okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. This is where we do this again. Oh my gosh. You guys are probably screaming right now at the <laughs> at the camera. Okay, let me just put this aside because I think this is gonna look better on this side because of how just it falls. How the suck how these echeverias I mean echeverias, how those jades fall. likely I'm gonna to have to repot this probably these are all pretty they're not that fast growers but probably by the end of this year I'll probably have to re transplant some of these okay, okay so now the baby chola can come over here to squeeze too hard. Because um, I want it to go in deep, but I need it to get firm inside there. You guys can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just gonna pack it with lots of soil to try to get it to be really firm in, in this pot. And I'm not trying to get poked. No. <laughs> Y'all already know. Those little things are brutal. Today was a good day, guys. It was a good day. I was just very productive in trying to accomplish a lot of things at my house, which was a good thing. And now, um, I'm able to pot up without feeling like I have a whole bunch of stuff I need to do inside. You know? Now I can enjoy what I really love doing, which is potting videos for you and for myself. Okay. So, I think that's looking okay. Uh, it's kind of hiding. If you don't already, follow me on IG, The Succulent Home, where I'll share my daily life with you. And you can get pictures that I don't show here on YouTube. Okay, then I got this one. The head of it broke down, broke off. So I'm just gonna leave it though, because you never know if other little jades will start growing from there but i'm going to put it on this side just to balance out this other side oh my gosh 
Okay, looks good, looks good. I'm gonna pack it in. Make sure you really pack it in so that they don't fall over. How do you pack them in? By pressing a little bit, putting pressure on the soil and kind of pushing down in the pot of the arrangement. That's how you pack it. That's what works for me. And you could just use your fingers. You don't always have to have all these special tools, you know? You just use what you've got to improvise. I think I need to cut these low. I didn't want to have to cut them, but honestly, it's just, it's too much. It's like, it's, they're competing with each other and I don't, you don't want that. You don't want, it's not a competition. They're, they have, they're all beautiful in their own way. So you want, you don't want a whole bunch of succulents that's gonna like, I'll be all bunched up together and then they're, you can't appreciate the beauty of them. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a mutual party. It's not just one birthday party for just the birthday girl. They're all birthday girls. So they all need their shine. Oh my gosh. So welcome to another super long patty video probably. <laughs> sound and it's annoying. That's my air conditioner. Hmm. Well, that's just my air conditioner. Okay. I put this one back over on this side. Thank God, it turned off. I hope that wasn't hecka annoying. Jeez. It was either that or the pool pump. I don't know, they're, they're close to each other. They're on the side of my house. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna have to do what we really probably didn't wanna do. <laughs> That's okay. What I'm not going to do is water this right away. It'll, let me go get some cinnamon and help it callus fast. Okay. If you don't have cinnamon in your succulent toolbox, go find yourself some because this, my dear, will speed up the process of callusing, okay? Just so you know. Okay. Should it go forward or go backwards? Should I go backwards, guys? Let's just, let 
Let me see how this looks. Let me just start playing around with it, that's all. Okay, that looks better, a lot better, a lot, lot better. <laughs> okay, some more cinnamon. I just pour a little bit in my hand, just rub it all. Probably don't need all that. And then I'm just going to stuff it into another little hole right by each other. And then I'm going to cut this one because remember I, I kind of want to use all of them well not kind of all that was left was the jade that my brother gave me in that pot and that big chola so in order for me to always say yeah this is the one my brother gave me then I need to um, have all the ones that are in there let's just put this little girl right here in the front. What do you think about that? I'm going to cut her a little bit more. That looks a lot better. A lot, lot better. And then the flapjack as it grows and opens, it'll help fill in some of the spots. Gonna put a little bit more dirt in here to super pack it so I can push down. Between neighborhood dogs barking, that, that's not my dogs, guys. That is not. I have one dog, you already know her, Lola. She and my old lady. Lola is, I've had Lola for, I want to say 13 years now. 13 years. Long time. And I, I just love her so much. She's just such a good dog. Such a good dog. And um, if you're anything like me, you are really, like your dogs are really special to you, you know? She came here before Nevea even came. She came right before Nevea. I'm gonna put this one in the back right here. So that way, if anybody looks in the back, they'll see how pretty it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
treat this one up close because I it's been sitting there from the last arrangement that I took that I took these out of so I'd rather treat it right before I put it in and be aggressive a little bit with it. I'm not going to put this in direct sunlight. I'm going to keep it in here. So that's another good thing about treating, making sure you treat. It's okay if you have a good succulent that is pretty, you know, sturdy, hardy. Open up the leaves and get this inside the crafts because that's where millie bugs, grrr, millie bugs, we all don't like those things. Do you feel me? We get right in here and thank you, Jesus. It's going to be gone. Yes. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you guys. I really do appreciate you guys. Okay. Now. Go ahead and try to make a little hole for her so I can squeeze her into the party and she can shine on her own as well. some of this girlfriend yeah I told you I'm messy I'm messy don't judge me okay well that's probably what it needed it probably needed a shorter stem All this does is just fill in the empty space back here. That's all that does. Just really helps. Should I do another one? Nah. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just the one has room to grow. Cause there's a there if you look close, sorry, it's pretty dirty. It has um a baby right there right 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 there so yeah I'm go ahead and this away. so I won't use another one of these That's it guys. I think it's pretty good. Considering, let's just take this away. So this is it. I think it's pretty good. I think it looks really cute, really nice and Although this fell on the ground and got pretty dirty. What do you say? Do you think we should um, put a couple of rocks in there? Why not? I got some of these bigger white rocks that I think will be a good contrast to these. And because they're on a bigger scale, they're not like um, fish aquarium rocks. I think that this will be perfect to just add a little contrast. Now you know me, um, I don't always like to use a top dressing. Reason being is because I just feel like um, using a top dressing sometimes like 
bugs, like, I don't know, like attract. I don't know if it's because it takes a little bit more longer to, you know, air out or dry out. So, that's why, I don't know. But I've been trying to experiment without putting any top dressing to see if my succulents thrive better. And um, honestly, they actually have. So, uh, but for this one, I'm not gonna use the little, like I said, aquarium rocks. I'm gonna use the bigger rocks because I feel like you'll, the soil can have ventilation, like it could dry out and it won't collect mildew. Because you gotta remember, when it comes to like those aquarium rocks, now I'm not talking about turfist because I haven't used that and that seems to be something that actually helps with um you know water and stuff you know soaking it up but um you got to remember so like with fish top fish um rocks that you would put in an aquarium there's a filter in that aquarium Al without that filter you it gets algae and and yes it's because of the water but it all gets collected to the rocks so i mean that's just my thought i could be completely wrong and if I am, comment below and let a sister know what's really going on with those rocks and that whole algae system thing. You know? Okay. Okay. It's done. see from your guys view let me see well what do you say what do you say I think it looks beautiful it does not too bad for what I thought was gonna be a fast revamp but like so many of us creative minds, we always end up changing to get the right, perfect look. Don't be ashamed. I love it. Well, until the next video, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Pot With Me video. I loved doing it with you. God bless. Bye.